Inside of today's video, we're going to be carrying on with our Power League grind. So at the moment, I've not really had time to push masteries. I've only had time to really make videos. So I don't think it's really moved too much. We're actually close to gold RT already. And then hopefully by probably three or four days, I'll be getting mastery on the RT. I need to get back on the grind. But, you know, I've been making tier lists and whatever else on the main channel. So also, I'll let you uh, have a look at my rankings. So I was literally, I think, like 10 and 1 in terms of wins within the past day or so. And then I just went on a pretty hefty loss streak. I lost four of my last five games. So hopefully we can get some wins inside of today's game. Without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, jumping into the first game. And so luckily we've got Pinal Punt, which is actually one of RT's best maps, I believe. But I've not played Power League with him since literally last video because RT isn't really the best. So I've just been playing any Brawler in particular because I feel like people get really annoyed if I constantly went RT over and over again. So... Uh, ultimate is going to go Griff, which is an, an okay choice. I guess I'm going to have to go RT in... Actually, he's going to go Ash. Okay, so RT in the middle will be decent, considering I've already got Max. Uh, I wonder who they could go. I reckon if I was them, I'd 100% go Primo. Primo would probably end up destroying us, to be fair. And yeah, RT isn't the best of choices, but this is RT to Masters. But let me know whether you want me to switch up the series in any way, whether, I just, uh, whether you want me just to play Power League every single day and just chill. Uh, but I tried to do a series of getting uh, a certain brawler to masteries every time. But I realized how I realized how difficult it is in Power League. Like for example, if I want to do search, there's no way I can do search in Bounty Shooting Star. Like it's impossible. So yeah, it's very relative, and not all the time is the brawler the best to go in a certain situation. Like it's very rare. Like in previous metas, yeah, maybe you could have just gone Grom everywhere or like Bust everywhere or Otis for example but in this type of meta you know it's actually one of the most balanced it's been in a while so with that being said we've still got uh vision gear on our RT which will definitely help us out in the middle against this Rosa so Rosa's already sneaked in though against our Ash and yeah it's not looking too great at the moment okay that is a, a really terrible start so let's try and switch things up here I don't I don't know if my Janet just didn't put her gadget down but I just felt ridiculous how quickly these guys just sneaked in so yeah i'm gonna try and sneak in myself with this rt Let's see right here i can literally two shot any of them so look at that that is just absolutely insane a brawler like rt ah oh, it, it's so broken it's so broken being able to do something like that but there's definitely some drawbacks to it uh so again just gonna try and scout this bush the teammates definitely doing much better this time around we should be able to get the call down and yeah looking much better this time around so we may as well stay in this form for now. I have a couple of shots away from Super. We should just be able to go onto the Rosa. I'm just going to teleport back just to give myself a little bit of extra HP. Looks like Cole's going to get the kill there. And I think I'm going to die here unless... Okay, I've got a trade. That is uh, decent. So, I mean, going into overtime, we should have a much better matchup as well. But these guys are being so aggressive. Rosa with Super as well. And there's no way we can stop that one. So, unfortunately... We lose the first set, which isn't really the best, but hopefully we can put that behind us and, yeah, kind of stop that. So, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what to really say about that. That was just complete domination. They can just continue being aggro over and over again. And Janet just can't deal with literally any of them. So, again, we need to make sure we're getting the right matchups. Ash, I mean, Ash doesn't have a good matchup against Carl or Rosa, to be fair. So, yeah, I mean, either one, he's pretty screwed. So the Rosa is going to eventually die here. I don't want to die in case the car can just get a flying hook. So Ash is going to go in here and he's not going to get the goal. So yeah, not the best place for my Ash. We're going to get the double kill onto Max and the Rosa. I don't know what my Janet is really doing here. I'm going to super kick that one in and that's going to be the goal. So really uh, decent right there. Let's see again if we can keep these guys out of bushes. I just need to hit one shot so the vision gear can pop. Um, so we can't get crept up on but not really having the best of times RT is actually really hard to hit a uh, projectile with a lot of the times so Carl has super here obviously I'm going to die and he's going to get a lot of value Rosa with super there's no way we can stop this so that's going to be a quick L unfortunately actually no it's not even what am I talking about I thought that I had the second goal there okay my brain just you can tell I've had a long day I've had a, <laughs> I've had a tier list I've been playing power league for like an hour it's been a long day. I was just ready to call it a day. But we should actually win this one, honestly. We've got a double tap onto the Rosa here. And just the max left. I mean, this Ash can just walk it in. Okay. I was literally about to call it quits. And me being an idiot, <laughs> we're literally in the third set here. So, 
again hopefully we can keep up the good work as long as we're continuously scouting um if I, if our giant had a vision gear it'd be so much easier to scout like it'd be nearly impossible for the rosa to sneak up on us but unfortunately that is not the case so i'm gonna continue to try and tap these guys up a little bit rosa's gonna be sneaking in we got the tap on her though to get some vision onto it we're only two shots away from super so once we get our super we can just smash auto aim onto these guys' faces oh ash is gonna go down here and let's see i've got to definitely prepare for this one we're one shot away from super ourselves, and we can just <laughs> just destroy this call it's actually hilarious how funny it is to uh quickly melt someone i'm actually going to stick to this form just because i can deal with the aggros a lot better i'm going to put a ball into a little bit of a better position here Let's see, I'm just going to run in here and deal some damage to Rosa. And then just teleport out when I'm about to die. So I realise that's a bit of a better way to play RT after watching a few other people play RT. Be a bit more aggressive in the other form. And then only teleport back when you're about to die. Because, yeah, this single shot form is just terrible a lot of times. But we get some decent taps in. I'm close to super myself here. So we're going to pass the ball. Okay, back to the Rosa. But if we just run in on the Rosa and get some auto aims in... Should be able to get her down. Unfortunately, I'm going to get taken down myself. Janet gets taken down as well. And this is not looking the best unless Ash can completely clutch up. Yeah, it's really not looking the greatest. Let's see if we can get the Rosa down in time. Unfortunately, we can't. Yeah, that was that was my bad. I went way too aggro. I thought I could have got the kill on Rosa. And I just end up dying. So that is 100% my bad. And Janet's in a sticky situation here. Can't help her, unfortunately. But she's in the air. So she's got a lot of value right here with her Super Bow. It's time to go in, so let's pass the ball off. We should be able to just delete this Rosa, and now this Carl's going to be able to... He's going to be able to defend this, unfortunately. Uh, we kind of need to just stick behind this. Oh, it's going to chip down like crazy. Yeah, we're going to get taken down, unfortunately. 30 seconds left. It's not looking the greatest. Rosa was super as well, just destroys our Ash. And yeah, we need our teammates to really pop off here. I mean, we've got to kill onto Rosa here. Janet's in the air. Carl's just going to destroy the Ash. Janet's going to land, but probably die. We do get the kill onto Carvo. Okay, it's not the end of the world right now. We're one shot off super as well. We can still make something happen. I still believe, okay? I still believe. We've literally got our super here, and we can just destroy everyone. So let's try and make something happen here. Unfortunately, again, it's just so awkward sometimes with a super. It's, it's going to be a loss. And Oti, yeah, I just don't know. He's really not strong in this meta. Let's hop into the next. So jumping into the second game then. So unfortunately, I haven't got much time to really record. So Oti is banned, which is probably the first time I've ever seen Oti banned. So I'm going to have to go to someone else. Maybe you like the switch up in gameplay. So yeah, we're going to switch it up right here. They've got Bonnie, Bian, Eve. So a pretty dangerous lineup on their side of things. And I honestly, I don't know who to go. Let's see if there's anyone. I mean, they're recommending Colt, but surely Colt isn't really the best maybe an 8-bit for some extra damage i i just have no clue you guys probably will be killing me for this choice but i want some extreme damage on the save so 8-bit brock should be able to deal enough i mean as long as brock breaks to open that left hand back pocket and there's no way these guys are going to be getting in behind us so yeah it's gonna be a bit of a spicy game uh, i'm trying to think in my head who i could have gone like i could have probably gone like a tank but the thing is, I don't really want to go tank against a Bonnie and just feed Bonnie jump every single time. So, yeah. And I don't trust myself on Buzz as well. So, yeah. I just didn't want to go to Buzz. So, I'm going to go left-hand side. Try and deal as much damage as possible. So, yeah. Feels a little bit plain weird playing 8-bit now instead of RT. Like, I feel like I should be playing RT in this moment. But we'll go we'll go his brother 8-bit. Uh, so, uh, let's see if we can get a pinch onto the E right here. If not, we can just use the gadget onto the safe. B is trying to tank all of that. Not too sure what the B is doing right there, but yeah, I mean, they're going to get some good damage back, though. I've got my super to hand, though, so next time I'm up on attack, I can get some really good damage. They've, they've done 25% already, which is definitely a good amount for them. I just need my super in a good position. I'm just going to go back around the left-hand side. I'm actually just going to put this one here for now. Just... So I can cycle another one, and then once I cycle my next one, just deal some unholy damage to the safe. So, again, hopefully the Piper can pinch. Nice, nice, nice. And now it is time to just unleash my gadget onto the safe right here. Bonnie's going to get the jump, but we should be able to take her down with a nice pinch from the Brock. So we've got some good damage back again, but all, all our composition is is getting one decent attack 
especially with Brock and myself, onto the safe and we'll just literally melt it. But the thing about the air comp, oh, sorry for the voice break. The thing about the air comp is that it's very, um, very control based. So they can't just deal a lot of damage quickly. So yeah, let's see if we can get some decent damage on here. I'm going to pop my super right here and just go straight for the safe. Unfortunately, they just managed to tank everything. But in the meanwhile, our Brock is dealing quite a fair bit of damage over there. So, yeah, not really the best for them. Our Brock is doing God's work up there. I don't know how he's still alive. He manages to get the kill onto the uh, B as well. So, doing some really good things up there. Hopefully, my Piper can pinch with this Eve. We managed to take down that super eventually. And yeah, things looking good so far. So B goes down, Bonnie goes down as well, and so does their Eve. So this should be a GG right here. We should be able to get a lot of damage onto the safe with our super and damage gear active. Uh, unless we completely throw this, there's no way we're going to lose. I mean, this would be crazy, okay? Pop is just going to be able to finish it off. So nice, quick retaliation right there. Uh, I'm just still annoyed from that previous loss with RT, but uh, I don't know why. Uh, sometimes I let it just sit on me too much but going into this one again just same old same old the problem with their composition again that's what they've got b and eve like they just can't deal their damage and people kind of underrate brock on this map still even though he can't break up in the right he can just sit on that right and still do some work and then once he gets into that position there's not a lot of brothers that can actually take him down quickly enough so bonnie it's going to get a lot of pressure right here i'm going to get absolutely tapped up unfortunately by all three of them and yeah things aren't looking the best piper is really whiffing some shots right here and yeah but now we're on the back foot it is not looking the greatest is it so we really need to kill i'm just gonna pop this super back here so we can hopefully get some additional damage bonnie again this bonnie is really weird they've jumped in every single time when they're like one shots. so yeah i don't know what's really going on with that bonnie but hey ho Unfortunately, Bonnie gets the kill, though. Like, they've been doing some good kills, but they've not been able to get onto the safe that well. So, yeah, we kind of rushed that one. We just all went up and died, which isn't really the best for us. And now it's all about trying to get back that control. So, super again. Don't really want to waste it this time around, though. It's going to heal up. Let's see if we can pinch this Bonnie with a Brock. It's not really looking the best, though. I'll have to admit, Piper, I don't know why Piper has gone down this left-hand side because, yeah, I'm just going to get tapped up by this Bonnie and B. Piper is now tapping. I don't know why she's pushing up through the left because she can't break that wall right there. Bonnie is going to get a really good jump, but not okay. She's going to somehow get some okay damage. That took us way too long to get the kill there, and now it's not looking the greatest. So, yeah, I don't know. 50 seconds, though. We literally just need to get a team kill. I'm doing all right, so gonna heal up right here. Let's see, Bonnie's gonna use the gadget, and we're just getting wrecked right now. We're actually getting wrecked. Bonnie again jumping in, and this is gonna take a huge uh, turn around. This is why I normally ban Bonnie. I don't know what I was thinking about the bans. Normally I just ban Bonnie on this map because of how annoying she can be, just jumping in over and over again. But still, we're in this. We just need that one kill onto either of these guys. And we should be looking good. 20 seconds left. Okay, we're not looking good at all. This is this is looking desperate. Everyone is going to die right here. We've got a B who is pretty much one shot. We're just going to use a gadget just to try and get us some pressure. I don't know. B, uh, Brock is whiffing all of those shots. And there's just no way we're going to win that one. So, yeah. That just came down to us not getting control a single time. Which, of course, it's kind of hard with a composition like ours. But we did get it. We literally got a... I think we got a triple kill, and then, I mean, me and Brock just went up and died, so we can't do that again. Hopefully, the Piper stays down the middle this time, and then we'll be much better next time around, so... Ah, uh, we can't get two losses in one video, we just can't, so... Is the Brock wanting me to go right? Okay, the Brock wants me to go right. Not too sure why, but, yeah, I'm going to be going right. So B on me again. I need to get this B off me. She can just run at me and destroy me every single time because of how slow I am. Need a Piper on the B. Nice. So again. Oh my days. How is that Bonnie alive? That Bonnie must be a Bonnie one trick or something because they just juked the hell out of me. We get some nice auto aim taps right there. And now we can put this super behind this wall. Piper, do not destroy that wall. That is something... Ah, oh, okay. I mean, they got the kill with it, but you don't really want to break that wall right there because normally you can wiggle and be a, a really annoying for the enemies to deal with. But we're getting some good damage here. Definitely much better than last time. 
funny again with the gadget. Um, and I'm just going to pop super this side. Bonnie's going to jump in. We should be able to take it down quickly with that rock. And you know what? I'm just going to use the gadget against this Eve right here. Eve one shot. And we should be able to take it down pretty quickly. But we need his control nice and early right here. So again, going to use the gadget onto the safe. Bonnie's going to pretty much tank all of that. But now we're in a really dangerous position. This is what I'm talking about with one super dealing. Just unholy amounts to the safe. And we literally win it just like that. So that is why I love these type of highest compositions. Because... No matter how long they keep control, we just need a Brock and an 8-bit onto the safe and we just destroy it. So, that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you want me to do on a second channel. I just feel a bit confused lately because I've not had much time to really push mastery on LT. So, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.